Hey guys, this is Ryan at the Branding Group. I'm here showing you how to use Zapier to connect your ClickFunnels to your Google Sheets. So whenever somebody um, opts into your funnel, it'll automatically send their contact information to a Google Sheet that you have set up. So first thing, obviously log into Zapier, and then we need to click on this red Make a Zap button up at the top. We need to choose our trigger app, and our trigger app is going to be ClickFunnels, like I said. So click on ClickFunnels. We're going to click on New Contact Activity. We're not doing anything with purchases right now. Then click Save and Continue. Now you need to choose your account. All right, I'm going to choose mine. And if you don't have it set up, you can just click on this button right here. It says Connect an Account. So Save and Continue. Okay, now we need to choose our funnel that we are working with. Now it's going to take a second for it to load, uh, especially if you have a lot of funnels built into your ClickFunnels account. And then once it loads, just click on the funnel that you want to be working with. And then once you choose the funnel, you need to choose the funnel step. And since we're using, we want to make our leads go to Google Sheets, I'm going to click on our opt-in and then click continue. And now Zapier just needs to double check everything. So just click continue and then continue again. Okay, now we got ClickFunnels taken care of. Now we need to do our Google Sheets part. So I'm going to choose the action app as Google Sheets. Okay, I'm going to create a spreadsheet row and then save and continue. Choose your account. If you don't have an account yet, just click on connect an account. Okay, now you need to choose the spreadsheet that you're actually working with. So let it load and then choose the one that you want. And now you're gonna choose the sheet inside of the worksheet. So I'm gonna choose my second sheet here. And so I already have it kind of set up in my Google Sheet. So I have a title email, and so I want the email to obviously go there. And then I have name set up in my Google Sheet, and you want your name to go there. So I did this in my Google Sheet already. I typed in email and name, so I could set it up like that. So click Continue. And you can test it. I'm not going to test it for the sake of the video. And then you're done. All you need to do is click Finish, and then this zap is set up. If you have any questions, you can just email us at info at brandinggroup.com.